Welcome. In this coding tidbit, I'm going to show you how to address a common issue that comes up when people are coding. In this case, what I want to do is I want to have some sort of instrument, and anytime I hover over the instrument, I would like it to start playing, to start doing something. So what I need to do first off is get my sprite that I want to work with. So I'm going to delete the cat sprite, and I'm going to go ahead and get some sort of instrument. Now. I can choose on the music instruments here, and I, in this case, I'm going to choose a conga drums. Now that I've got the conga drums, well, I'm going to go ahead and make a plan. Right click on the coding area and click on add comment. So in many cases, what we want to do is we want to say, okay, well, after I click the green flag to start, um, if I'm touching the conga drums then play a sound and I also want to change my costume change costume to a playing costume to a playing sound costume so that's kind of my basic plan that I'd like to have happen right now so let's go ahead and start right here at the beginning after I click the green flag to start I can find those over on the left hand side in the coding area where it says events. If I click on events, I can find the when the green flag is clicked. The next thing I see is I say if I'm touching the conga drums. So the way that I might be able to check if I'm touching something is I need to sense if the user is somehow interacting with the conga drums. In this case, I think I want to sense if the mouse is hovering over the conga drums. I can sense any interaction with the user over in this area where it says sensing and the very first block is if touching mouse pointer you'll notice this doesn't connect to the one green flag is clicked it senses but it doesn't have that if statement with it if you need an if go over and right above the sensing there are the control blocks and you'll notice there's an if block about halfway down now the shape of the if block has the perfect uh, fit for touching the mouse pointer so now I've got if touching the mouse pointer, then if I look at my code over here, I can see then play a sound and change the costume to a playing sound costume. So the first thing I need to do is I need to go ahead and find a sound. You'll notice over here there's sound and I can grab this very first block, which is play sound, tap conga until done. I'm gonna put that inside of my if. Now if I've got the play sound tap conga and I click on the drop down, you'll notice there are four sounds that come prepackaged with the conga drums. If you want to find out what sounds come with the different sprite that you've chosen, you can click on the sounds tab, which is in the area over by the codes. Once I've clicked on the sounds tab, you can now see I've got a high conga, a low conga, a muted conga, and a tap conga. I like this low conga sound, kind of a nice classic conga sound. I'm going to choose that one. If you don't like any of the sounds that are there, you can record your own or choose another one by clicking on this button here at the bottom. In this case, I like this sound. So I'm going to go back to my code and make sure that I'm playing that low conga sound until it's done. The other thing I wanted to do if I go to looks is I want to change to the costume that has the sound looking like it's coming out of the drum. So I'm going to grab the switch costume drums to conga B and that's actually the first thing I want to have happen. So I'll change the costume and then I'll play the sound until it's done. Otherwise, what would happen is it would play the sound, but it wouldn't change the costumes until the sound was done playing. And that's about it. Let's try it right now and see what happens. If I click the green flag, oh, I'm touching. So why isn't it working? This happens a lot of times. And the reason here, if we look at our code, it says when the green flag is clicked, if I'm touching the mouse pointer. Well, this happens immediately. So if I'm clicking the green flag, I'm probably not also clicking the conga drums. So how do you make sure that after you've clicked the green flag, we can have the conga drums work? The answer to that is in a loop. If you go back over to control, you'll see there are different kinds of loops. The loop that we're interested in right now is we want the forever loop. By using a forever loop, we can say, I want to forever check this condition once I've clicked the green flag. So instead of just checking it immediately when I check the green flag, 
the computer is going to be continually checking to see if this condition is true. So I'm going to drag all of that code inside the forever block. Then I'm going to drag and connect the forever block to the green flag. And now I'm going to try it out. I'm going to click the green flag. And there you go. I've hovered over, played a sound, and it played the sound. Now when I've stopped hovering over, the sound has stopped playing, but the uh, image still looks like it's being played. Let's address that issue. I'm going to address it in the same way as I addressed this one. I'm going to go to events. I'm going to grab a when green flag is clicked. And then I'm going to go to control and make sure I grab a forever loop. In this case, I want to say, well, in the first case, it was if I was touching the mouse pointer. Let's wait until I'm not touching the mouse pointer and then change the costume back to costume A. If you go to control, you'll notice I can still use an if statement. There's another block down here, which is a wait until. I'm going to grab this one. So in this case, I want to wait until I'm not touching the mouse pointer. We know where to get the mouse pointer touching code is in the sensing. So let's go to sensing and grab that. It's the very top one if I'm touching the mouse pointer. But I want to not. If you go to operators, which is right under sensing, there's a really useful block called a not block. So in this case, I want to wait until I'm not touching the mouse pointer. Once that's happened, then I want to change back to conga A. So I'm going to go to looks and I'm going to find my switch costume back to uh, the costume A. And now I'm going to test this out by clicking on the green flag, hovering over my drums. It's playing the sound. And when I stop hovering over, the sound stops and the costumes switch back. And that's it. This is a really useful piece of code. You can use it for all sorts of different kinds of situations where you want something to happen anytime that you might hover over it or interact with it in some sort of way. So think about all the different ways that you might be able to use this. Go out there and have fun with forever loops.